Hey guys, Car Collector 102579. Don't mind this. These are my dog's toys over here. Um, come back at you with a video contest response. I don't normally do contest responses or uh, contests because normally I don't have time for it, especially now with the baby on the way. Um, I've been very, very busy. Um, that's why I don't do mail day videos that much anymore or stuff like that. You know, I'm still doing the mystery packs um, here and there. So if you want one, hit me up. But uh, this this one caught my eye. This is from a contest response from uh, Purple Twenty GT Twenty Two. Um, my uh, favorite my favorite cards from favorite year. Um, or not favorite cards from favorite year, but uh, favorite brand. You know, and uh, it was hard for me to do. Um, most of them are older cards, um, not many new, new, new stuff. Um, I like the new stuff, but I'd rather have the old stock as opposed to the shiny stuff today. I mean, I, I collect everything, but, um, I'm, I'm more vintage, I'm more old school. I just like how the cards look back then as opposed to today's standards, but, to me, it's more cardboard for your money back then, but that's just my opinion. You know, I love the vintage stuff. But anyway, first one I like is um, I actually have a complete set. I just took one out. It's uh, almost all graded. Um, it's a 250 card set. It's a smaller set. It's from 54. It's 54 tops. Um, here's the Ted Williams card number 250, last card in the set. So I just took it. Um, this is a graded PSA 5. Um, if these cards, I like these cards because, um, how they look pretty much, um, with the player and then him in action. Um, very tough card for grading. Um, very, very tough to get high grades on. Um, if you have one that looks almost perfect, it probably isn't because they grade very, very hard to grade because the borders are so small and a lot of them are off centered or uh, trimmed so you have to be careful when you uh, purchase something like this but uh, yeah so this is the 54 tops um, you get the Hank Aaron rookie which I I, uh, I have um, Ernie Banks rookie uh, there's two Ted Williams the first card and the last card and um, uh, Al Caline is in there um, really 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 a great set but that's that another one uh, another set I like is 55 tops another high-end set the set values in mint condition at around 8,000 for the set um, here's one of the cards from it um, here's Jackie Robinson PSA 5 from the uh, set I got a couple here to show you I had the Clemente rookie. I sold it, however. Um, here's Ernie Banks, PSA 5. I had the Kofax, too. But I didn't bring them out. I just grabbed what was on top. Um, Yogi Berra, 55 tops. And, uh, yeah, those are the. I think I only took three out. Yeah, those are the three I took out. Um, I like the, the sideway view, like 55, 56 tops. Again, most of the cards with the player's face and then an action in the background. Um, very nice, clean cut. Little story on the back, little comic. Um, I, uh, has the stats, uh, last year's stats or uh, lifetime stats on there. Very nice, clean card. Um, again, a great card. Um, below the 55 tops. Very hard to find. Um, actually, believe it or not, the rarest card in the set, I believe, is the last card, which is Duke Snyder. Um, it, it's about a $600, $700 card. And for 55, the 56 Duke Snyder books at 125 However, the 55 books at 6 700 because it's very hard to get a perfect uh, Duke Snyder. So that's why it's so expensive. And, yeah. Now in the 60s, um, the set that sticks out to my mind the most is 61 tops, the one Marshall rookie year, which I do have right here. One Marshall rookie, just PSA 6. Um, great set. 
Um, to me, it's a collector's set. Um, there's five mantle mantles in this set, which makes it even more valuable. Um, it's the year Maris broke Babe Ruth's record. Um, it's a great set. I love it. And here's one of the mantle. Well, it's not really a mantle, but it is considered a mantle card. Mantle Blast, 565 foot home run. And that's a PSA. Don't mind. The, something else is in there. And that's a PSA 5. So that's 61. Now we're moving on to the 70s. I only there's not much really in the 70s that catches my eye as far as sets because um, I really didn't like too many sets in the 70s because that's when they start overproducing late 70s. So. The one set that sticks out the mind, of course, is 75 tops. The Robin Yount rookie, PSA 6, and uh, George Brett also is in there. But I'm at six minutes now, so another set that's very hard to find is the 84 Flare Update. I have the uh, the box set of that, and I also have a graded set. Here's the pocket from there. There's a Clemens in there that's expensive and. Uh, I think Dwight Gooden is in there, or I think, I'm not sure. Um, this is a PSA 8. Next I uh, like is the 83 tops. Here's the Boggs. Uh, I like that little picture and him uh, posing. I, I think 83 tops is an excellent design for the 80s. Next is, it's just plain triple threads. Here's a Willie McCovey, one of three. Uh, this is a 9 mint with 10 auto. Um, it's not so much the card itself, it's just uh, the style. I like triple threads, I always did. Um, I'm not a big pack breaker or box breaker, but when I do box break boxes or cases, I always buy a case a year of triple threads and tribute. Those are the two cases I buy a year, so that's why I like that. And the last one is tribute i just picked this one out just because it was on top so i like the encapsulated version the best so yeah so yeah so there you go um those are my favorite cards uh favorite years hope you enjoy please rate comment and subscribe talk to you guys later peace out